Okay, so what we're going to do here is go through how to automate the run of a Jupyter Notebook. So what we're going to do is use a batch file, and a batch file is going to be used to activate a virtual environment and run a Python script. That Python script is what's going to actually run the Jupyter Notebook. The Jupyter Notebook is going to process some data for through a customer turn model, and it's going to output a CSV of the customer ID, the uh, one or zero for if they will turn or not, and the probability. So it's also, the Python script is also going to export a copy of the executed notebook. So we'll just go through everything that's involved. So here, the first thing, the, the, the bat file, it's pretty simple. It CDs into the folder. It activates the virtual environment. It runs that um, Python script, in this case, exe underscore notebook.py, and then it deactivates the virtual environment. So that's pretty straightforward. The Python script is pretty straightforward too. It's pretty short. Paper mill is what's being used to run the notebook. We get a timestamp, a date and timestamp that we're going to use to name our output notebook and output um, CSV. Um, and we, we, we have to put in the parameters for which notebook we want to run and which CSV you want, you want to use as the input. And finally, we get the path to the um, input and output notebooks. And that's what needs to be passed to this paper mill .execute. So we pass in the input notebook path and the output notebook path. And then finally, we're going to pass um, some parameters to the notebook itself. These parameters are going to be the name of the CSV to run and then the name of the CSV that outputs with the customer predictions. And we can look at that. That makes sense to look at that next. Um, and we'll, we can do that by opening up the notebook. So I think I have this already written down. So I'm going to CD into this um, folder. I also did want to mention there's a few things that need to be um, installed for this to work in, in the virtual environment. So I'm going to CD into that folder. And we can see that the, the churn uh, notebook is there. Before I have to do that, I have to activate the virtual environment. So I'm going to do conda, activate, and then demo is the name of it. Once I have that activated, I can then open up the Jupyter Notebook. So, so Jupyter Notebook, and then it's a churn at ipynb. So that's going to open up the, the notebook. And here we can look at the um, parameters I was talking about that get passed to it and how that works. So you can see input and output data. That's Those are the parameters that we were passing. And it's the customer CSV and then the customer's prediction CSV. And the way we get those passed in is we have to create a cell with a tag that's called parameters. So once we do that, Paper Mill is going to know that these are the parameters that we want to overwrite. And the output notebook is going to have that. It's going to have a cell created just below this one. And it's going to have input data and output data. But instead of empty strings, it's going to have this customer CSV and the customer predictions with the timestamp CSV. All right, so we can actually look at that. Let's uh, run the whole thing, just see what it looks like. So I'm going to bring up the diagram. All right, so we're going to run the batch file. And that we're going to see right away, we're gonna, the notebook's going to pop up, the executed notebook. And once it finishes running, we're going to see customer predictions with the date timestamp pop up. And there's only, only about 10,000 customers, so it shouldn't take very long usually um, less than a minute for the notebook to run. OK. And there it is. We see customer predictions. So that's our uh, three column CSV, the customer ID, the prediction, yes or no, and the prediction probability. So I want to look at this um, notebook. So like I was saying before, we had our cell with the parameters. That was had the tag with parameters in it. Paper mill overwrote those, created a cell, um, and passed in the two um, values we told to pass in. So we can see that here, these two. And that's pretty much all there is to it for automating the run of a Jupyter notebook in this way. There's other ways to do it. Um, so this is one way to do it. The next video I'm going to go through is how to productionize something like this. If there are any questions, uh, feel free to leave them below. Thanks.